everyone and welcome back to old Tom and his big red chair. I'm old Tom and this is my big red comfy chair. Now, I'm not going to talk for very long because we've got to carry on with the show, but stay tuned after this because I've got a very important message for you, all right? But now, let's go and see what's on old Tom and his big red chair and I'll see you soon. Boys and girls, we're back at Miss Tracy's house. She hasn't noticed us yet. I, I, but do you think I should better call her? Let's know we're here so we don't frighten it. I think that'll be a good idea, don't you? Look, I'm going to count this thing. I want everyone to shout Miss Tracy. Or shout, hello, Miss Tracy. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hello, Miss Tracy. Hello, Miss Tracy. We're at the front of you. Oh, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> I didn't see you over there. I think we tricked you, didn't we, Miss Tracy? We did. Well, Miss Tracy, we've come back to your house. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you'll show us some more crafts today. Because you love doing crafts, don't you? Well, I've got some fantastic things to do today. From things that you'll find in your own kitchen Wow. Cupboards. Well, boys and girls, I'm going to be quiet now because I want to watch what Miss Tracy's going to do today because old Tom's going to try it later. <laughs> All right, over to you, Miss Tracy. Well, you remember last time, boys and girls, we made the coloured rice and we made <coughs> coloured rice pictures. We painted with rice. But today we're using pasta. Now, there's lots of different types of pasta you're probably used to seeing spaghetti. That's the long, skinny pasta. We haven't got any of that today, but we have pasta shells. Now, pasta shells come in different colours. You can get red ones and yellow ones and green ones. Or you can get the plain coloured pasta shells, just like this. Now, not only can you get pasta shells, boys and girls, but you can get twirly pasta. There we go, nice swirly, twirly pasta. You could also get wholemeal pasta. It's like little tubes with little holes through. And you can, you can also get plain white pasta. I know it's not white, but they call it white pasta. It's the same as the wholemeal pasta, but it's bigger tubes. We'll put, we'll put a few of these out on our work area. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have this now. What's this pasta called? Hmm, macaroni, that's what it's called. Sometimes your mum might make you macaroni and cheese. And we'll put some of that out. Now what we're going to do today, boys and girls, we're going to make pictures out of pasta. Now, sometimes it doesn't look very pretty. It's pretty much all the same colour. So let me show you how to colour pasta. Now for those of you who coloured the rice with me last time, you'll remember how to do this. So we have our macaroni in our little jar. And what colour should we make it? Hmm. Let's make it blue. We'll pop a little bit of blue food colouring in, being very careful we don't get it everywhere because food colouring stains and you can't get it out. We'll put a little bit in like this. We'll put the lid on. Put the lid on here and we give it a stay. There we go. It's all changing colour. Now it takes a little bit more time for the food colouring to dry on the pasta than it does on the rice. So you have to be very careful you don't get it on things when you take it out of the jar. So we'll tip some out like that. It's more like green than blue, boys and girls. So let's make a picture. Now what type of picture should we make? Hmm. Since they're shells, maybe we should make a beach. So what we're going to do is, hmm, let's make a nice sandy area, the beach part first. So we're going to use our glue and we're going to make a nice 
sandy area. You, oh, look at that, it's got me. And we'll use, oh, let's use the macaroni, the plain macaroni for the sandy area. So we spread it on like this, just like we did with the rice boys and girls in the last time you saw me. Spread it on like this. And then, oops, let's move the rest away. We'll give it a little shake so it sticks all over the glue. So we have our sandy area. Then we need to make some water because there's water at the beach. We might use some of our coloured rice for this and mix it with some of the pasta. How about that? Here we go. We'll put the glue here all over the place like waves and we'll put a bit of our coloured rice on there. And because the sea isn't exactly blue, it's a greeny blue, we might use some of this greeny blue pasta we coloured earlier. We might have to push some of that on so it stays. Okay, here we go. Now we'll shake it around. Oops, we didn't put enough glue on that bit, boys and girls. We'll put a bit more glue on there. And we'll put a bit more of this green and blue pasta on. It doesn't look like much yet, boys and girls, but it'll come together soon. It's shaking. Now, what else do we find at the beach? What do we find on the sand? We find shells, don't we? So let's take some of these shells and we'll stick them on the sand like this. There we go, some different coloured shells, put a bit of glue on here. Oh, there's lots of shells on our beach today. Here we go, different coloured shells. And oh, another green one. Now what else do we find at the beach? We might see a little boat. What are we going to make a boat out of? I know, we'll use some of this wholemeal pasta and we'll make a little boat. So we put the glue on like this and there we go, we'll make a little boat. Oops, there we go, we'll pop it on like this boys and girls. We're making a little boat. Oops, that doesn't want to stick there. I'll put some more glue on that bit, boys and girls. There we go, that'll make it stick. A bit more. Oops, let's move that C out of the way. Oops. It's sticking to my fingers today. And we need another bit for the sail, don't we? What are we going to use for the sail? How about we use a bit of this large tubular pasta? There we go. Now I'm not the best at making boats, but at least I can show you. It really needs to dry a bit before I pick it up because if I don't, it might fall off, boys and girls. But you get the idea. If you've got a bit more time than me, you can make something fantastic. So that's it, boys and girls, for, this, for today. That's how you use pasta out of your cupboard to make pictures with. And you can also use the rest of that coloured rice you made the other day. Well, I wonder what we're going to make next time. You'll have to tune in to see. Well, I'm going to go now, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
boys and girls. Well, wasn't that fantastic, Bye-bye. boys and girls? Oh, well, you can make all different kinds of pictures. You can build a house with it and make a garden and Ooh. put a sun in the corner and some clouds. You can do such a lot with pasta and rice, can't you, Miss Tracy? I didn't even think of doing a house. A house would have been fantastic. It would have been, but so boys and girls, oh. isn't she clever? But I'll tell you what, let's have a great big clap, boys and a great big cheer for the fabulous Miss Tracy. Uh, well, another fabulous show. <laughs> I get really excited about these shows, boys and girls. Now, don't forget, we're doing, there'll be a different show every single time. <laughs> I can't wait because I love watching them. But if you've got any questions or if you've got a birthday coming up, you can send an email at oldthomas at email.com. It'll be down there. Now, if it's a birthday, remember, all I want is your first name, the town you live in, the country you live in, your date of birth, and how old you be on that day. That's all I want because I want to make sure you keep safe. Boys and girls, I want you to have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you next time on Old Tommy's Big Red Chair. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.